Good morning, good morning. How you doing this morning? It is, goodness, it, we moving along. It's Wednesday already. We're already in the middle of the week. Seemed like we just left last week's middle of the week, hump day. So that just tells you that our time and pandemic is going on and on and on and it's going quickly, but I ask you, what are you doing while you're in quarantine? If you're in quarantine, some people have slowed down, but they didn't stop going out. They didn't stop being involved in what's happening out there. And uh, I tell you, I'm, I'm, I'm getting to the point where you listen to the, to the news and especially Dr. Fauci, he has some things to say, which make it uh, critical that we be, you know, covered up when we go out, that we look after ourselves, but also that people coming around us have done enough for themselves that they don't, you know, come to us. And even though they may not show any signs that they may make us sick. So I'm really trying to, to uh, be on the side, play on the side of caution. And, you know, I said, I wanted to start out this morning with, you know, what's in our way, what is in our way. We, we have opportunity here to do something. And, and so the question is, what are we doing with this time? And so the question of way becomes vital, you know, and, and, you know, I'm a, I'm a former New Yorker. And so as a, as a former New Yorker, I want to uh, talk about New York, New York. And of course, uh, Frank Sinatra made a song famous called uh, My Way. And a lot of times we are, we do things but we don't do them the way we would like to do them. We do the way somebody else tells us to do it or the way um, we think grandma would have wanted it or mama would have wanted it. I'm asking this morning, what is your way? What's in your way? Who is in your way? You know, I'm going to ask you this question. Are you stuck? You could be. You could be. I think at times we are all stuck, stuck on something. But what I did make a uh, discovery of in talking to a good friend of mine yesterday is I've used quarantine to really, um, what I would say, solidify, clarify, identify, rectify, just fi, you know, who I am. And what I've done is I accomplished a lot during this time of stand down, stay out you know, uh, stay out of the fray of things, stay out of other people's way of, of possibly making me sick, but also finding time to not only say no to some things, but also say yes to, to myself and some things that I want done. And so, um, in doing this, this, uh, I didn't do a poem this morning, this morning I'm doing song lyrics and, um, it just kind of lets me know that if you put your mind to it, you can have things your way, but it has to be you. Cannot be anybody else. Nobody else. It's a you thing. And a lot of times we never get down to the to the to us. We never do. We're we're so busy um doing, doing, doing for so many others. So the fact that if you're getting something done during this time, I applaud you. I say amen. I say keep doing it. Don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. So in looking at our poem this morning. We're done to talk is by Frank Sinatra, and uh, that well, he made it famous. I don't know who the who the author of the song is, but uh, the song is called "My Way." It says, "And now the end is near." And we're gonna analyze a little bit of this, and it says, "So I face the final curtain." That means life is almost up, my friend. I'll say it clear. I'll state my case, of which I'm certain. I've lived a life that's full. I've traveled each and every highway. And more, much more than this, I did it my way. And that's what we're trying to get down to today. Can you get something your way? Um, and, and only your way. It says regrets. I've had a few. But then again, too few to mention. I did what I had to do. I saw it through without exemption. I planned each charted course, each careful step along the highway, and more, much more than this, I did it my way. You know, I I, I love that 
that concept of that, okay, I can bash myself for what I've done uh, or what I didn't do, but whatever I can do, say at the time, it was my way. You know, I'm just asking you what you used to do. Do you still do? Have you found some solaceness during this time of, of pandemic? Have you found yourself, your voice, your light, your shine, your gifts, your talents, everything? Have you found it? I'm just telling you, I know it's there. I know it's there. And it says, yes, there were times, I'm sure you knew, when I bit off more than I can chew. Let's face it, we all have. We all have. And through it all, when there are was and there was no doubt, I ate it up and spit it out. Because, you know, when we get over things, we should be over them. It says, I faced it all and stood tall and I did it my way. So to me, my way talks about the importance of who you are, how you're doing, what you're doing, when you do it, who you do it with or who you do it without. It's all good. It's your way. But we're not always applauded for our way because there might be criticism. But, you know, what, what this song says is don't worry about it. The, critici the critics will come. You know, the naysayers will come, but if you do it your way, then that's the importance of it. It said, I've loved, I've laughed, and I've cried. I've had a fill, my share of losing. We've all lost. We have all lost. Good morning, Kiwanis. It says, and now as tears, as tears subside, I find it all so amusing to think I did it all. And I may say not in a shy way. Oh, 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 no, not me. I did it my way. See, to me, the fact that, that you can admit to what your wrongs were and then move on to what your right forward is, that's your way. That is your way, okay? It says, for what is a man? We'll say, what is a man and a woman? we just going to edit that right there. What has he or she done or got? If not himself, then he has not the right to say the things he feels or she feels and not the words of one who knows the record shows I took the blows and I did it my way. That's what we're talking about this morning. Good morning, Patrice, is that we're doing things the way we want it. It may be in the order you put it in your mind. You say, hey, look, I want this for myself. I want this for my family. But sometimes even your family will turn and take their own, you know, destination, you know, in fact, I was reading something online this morning from a, a person I used to work with, a, a good friend in New York, and she was saying that her daughter had come, it was actually her granddaughter had come and spent some time with her, and they had gotten close because the daughter, which was this, it, it was actually the child's mother, passed away, and in the passing, um, the daughter came back, the granddaughter came back and was really broken. And But she fixed, fixed up everything, got herself together, now has, has a new uh, career as an RN and is moving to a, a new location in the country. And she was talking about her sadness. And I was telling her that, you know, sometimes that happens. We will meet somebody in our lives and they will come. They will be here for a short time. You, you you nurture them as much as you can. But guess what? When the broken wing is healed, okay, when the heart is mended, when the head is clear, they move on. And the thing is, is that your solace has to be in the fact that you helped. You helped as much as you could, but they have to do it their way. They absolutely have to go forward in the direction that's been designed for them. Good morning, T. And so that's what they're going to do. They're going to go just the way they need to go. So when we break down and we talk about the word way, you know, a way is a thoroughfare. Good morning, my, uh, Maurice. The way is a thoroughfare, it says, for travel or transportation from place to place, an opening for a passage, the course travel from one place to another. Now, to me, that's talking about, you know, the literary portion of travel. Okay, but we can travel in terms of things we know we got to do. We can travel in terms of head, the way we think about how we want to do something, the way we plan something out on how something should go for us. That is, you know, every time I, I, I see Maurice now, you know, I know he's the, uh, 
He's the, the worshiping uh, usher during pandemic. And I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. And um, he's constantly doing something that gives us pause, but also gives us, us laughter. And, but he's doing it his way. He's showing that, that, that even during pandemic, we can make it fun. Even during pandemic, you can laugh. Even during, you know, strife, maybe, you know, job is, is, has limited hours or no hours at all, or money is low or whatever, you can still laugh about your situation. Because eventually we're going to look back on this and say, wow, we went through it. We got, we got it done, okay? And whatever way we choose to do it as we're going through, that's our way. Whoever, whoever you're doing it with or you're doing it alone, it's still your way. Make it that way. Make it. Make it yours. So your way is your strategy. Your way is your plan. It's your scheme. It's your method of getting through things. It's how you look at accomplishing whatever it is you want to accomplish. It's your possibility. It talks about it being your possibility. It's your outcome. It's your course of action. It's your travel. It's your, it's your place. It's your destiny. You know, from one place to another place. It's your transport. All of those talks about the way you, you get things done. You know, the way you approach things, the way you travel by head, heart, or physicalness, you know, walking, in the car, whatever. Like I have a friend, she always talks about, oh yeah, I walked three miles today. And I said, well, what was your route? Which way did you go? So once again, way is right there. So way comes up often for us. It comes up often in our lives. So it talks about, I'm speaking to any way you want to do it. You know, if you're talking about the distance you're going to take, if you're talking about the plans you've made, if you're talking about the orientation of your head, how you, how, what, what you're thinking about, all those are done according to your way, nobody else's way. It's yours. It's yours. So when we start off at the W, we want to talk about your wander, okay? Not your wonder. Could be that you're wondering, but I'm talking about your wander. Your wander is your walk. Your wander is your movement. And, and it says it's in a, can be in a leisurely, in a leisurely way, a casual or aimless way. That's your wander. But the wander is also your stroll. It's your, it's your saunter. It's your potter. It's your dwat. It's your dwaddle. It's your ramble. It's your, it's your room and your roam. You know when you're roaming around. It's your range. It's your drift. It really talks about all these things that talk about you being mosey and and your your trek. Your, your gad about, all of those have to do with your wander. And, and I use wander in this instance, talking about whatever way you want to do it. If you do it slow, that's yours. If you do it in a, in a, in a run, that's yours. If you do it in a, you know, just a middle of the road kind of pace, planning, you know, taking on what you're going to do, you're doing it your way. You're making it yours. You make it, yes, laughter is the best medicine, and I laugh all the time. I'm always looking for a good laugh, Maurice, always, 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 always. <clears throat> but, but your wander is how you're going to get through things, how you're going to look at, at, at whatever project, whatever trip you need to take, whatever. It's your way. It is your way. The A in way is for adventure because I believe when you're going down your street or you're in your car or you're on the plane, you got a way of getting there, but you also going to have some adventure. You're going to encounter some things. You're going to encounter some people. You're going to encounter some situations. In fact, uh, somebody was talking to me uh, yesterday and they were getting ready to board a plane. And they said, child, these people, they're uh, are arguing about not wanting to wear a mask. I said, we, we're in close quarters and it's closed. Why would they not want to wear a mask? But once again, here's somebody that's opting to exercise their way. It doesn't always say that it's beneficial to everybody around their way, but it does say that, that people will try it. They will try it. They will put it out there. And, and of course, the conversation with the, with the attendant was, you have to do this. They eventually did it, but it was under duress. And they, and, and they're even, you know, they have them available. So it wasn't as if you don't have one, you're not going to get one, a, a mask. But the adventure talks about an unusual, but exciting, typically it says sometimes hazardous experience or activity, but it also says it's your, your exploit. It's your escapade. It's your deed. It's your feet. 
It's your trail. Good morning, Lamel. I haven't seen you. Good to see you. Um, it's your experience, your incident, your occurrence, your event. It's your happening. You know, I think when you're going on an adventure, you know, like if you're going to take a trip or you're going to go to the beach, that's an adventure. You don't know what you're going to encounter. You don't know if you're going to be bitten by a jellyfish or, you know, you're going to see a shark or you're going to see a dolphin or what. You don't know. You don't know. But it's, it's an adventure. It's an experience that you're, but it's in your way. It's in your path or whatever you experience that day. It says it could be an affair, an episode, a caper. It could be a romp. It could be your antic, okay, because some people do have antics. Could you be your crusade or a campaign? You're on a campaign, so you know which way you're going about who you're going to vote for or what you're going to do. You have your signs. You're going to protest, whatever. All of it is a part of your way, and it's your venture. You know, all of these things talk about what happens as you're on your way. You're going to encounter some stuff. That's part of your adventure. Demir, good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, Trisha. Hope you're feeling better. Um, so all of those things talk about who you are, what you're all about, but it, but you're doing it your way. Can't nobody tell you what that you're going to leave at 3 o'clock in the morning uh, and they're going to tell you to leave at 3. You know, no, I'm leaving at 4.30 in the morning, okay, just before dawn. But 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 it's your way. It's how you want to to carry yourself forward. And, and it's your adventure as to what you see along your way. That would be your venture. And, of course, your waddle is what you, how you going, you know, going on foot, going to be a long walk, going to be a run, going to be a saunter. What's it going to be? And the last thing is you, I'm going to put you in with, for the why is you put yourself in the middle of your way. Now, I sometimes ask the question, who's in your way? And the reason I ask that question, that's one of the questions today, who's in your way and what's in your way. And the reason I ask that is because a lot of times we're so far in our own way, we can't get anything done. So you have to ask yourself questions about where are you going? How quickly are you trying to get there? What are you trying to accomplish? What do you hope to, to obtain once you reach your destination? What work do you have to put in? All that's along your way. All that leads to you know, your way arriving at your destination. So when it talks about yourself, it says yourself is, is used to refer to a person being addressed as the object. So you're the object of this discussion. You, yourself, you. It says as the direct verb or preposition when they are also the subject of the clause. That's who you are. That's who you are. And it says you're personally um, it says you're a per you could be the personality used to emphasize what person you are. You may, in fact, sometimes online you see people that are considered to be local uh, celebrities or national celebrities. They have it what they call public, you know, public figure. So I know I'm not a public figure, but you may know people who are. And so if they're if they're public figures, that means they're identified as, as a, per, a person of local importance or national importance or maybe even international importance. But it talks about the, the, the person being who special they are to others, what other people may identify them as or what they're given once they've reached a certain number on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram, you know, or TikTok or all those things that really talk about the socializing of who you are. You know, the fact that you're known media socially uh, uh, as being a person of a special, you know, knack, a special thing that you do. You know, I was looking at a Shaq, uh, you know, um, I was looking at his information this morning and, you know, I said, wow, you know, to have, you know, that kind of clout, you know, think of all the people that have clout and they've done things their way once they finish doing one career it, it melded into another career and, and they can always live and stand on what they did in their past, which was part of their way on where they are now and where they're going to take it going forward. Because most people who are looking out for themselves, they're also looking up the road ahead of, of the direction that they're headed and they know which way they are going. They know where they're going. They put one foot in front of the other. They've gotten in their cars. They've gotten on planes. They've identified, you know, the things that are important to them and made a way 
out of some, what, 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 what do they say? The church folks say, we say, make a way out of no way. That's just the way it is. That's just the way it is. We find a way forward. So when we talk about the way, the, 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 uh, yourself, the you talks about oneself. It also talks about ego. You know, do we have an ego? Do we have an identity? You know, it talks about the myself of it, the individuality of it, the person, the personalities. And it also talks about the narcissism because some people are so narcissistic that they don't allow for anybody else to have to say anything for them because they're too busy talking about themselves. So that is also a part of the Yousef. So their, to me, their way was always one way, their own, period. They never uh, took a detour. You know, sometimes in life we take detours. We stop off, you know, a little while. Sometimes we stop off for a day, maybe a couple of hours, some we stop off most of our lives we're, because we're too busy trying to let other people create the way we go or, or identify if the way, we are, if the way we're, we're headed is the right direction. Those to me are so yourself. Those to me are personal. They're personal commitments to what you want to do and how you want to go about getting there. You know, nobody else can tell you. Nobody. But I certainly, you know, commend people who, um, who what I, what I call are, are, are adventurous people and will challenge themselves on, on doing something that they've never done before. That's their way. That is their way. So anyway, when we talk about way, we want to talk about what is our wander in it, where we're going to go with it, how we're going to get there, what adventure will we see along the way, and are we putting ourselves in it, not necessarily bringing on others, but identifying that this is the way I, meaning you personally, want to go, okay? Um, so my questions for today are, questions one, number one, what is in your way? What? And, and part B of that is, do you know the way you're going? Many of us do not. We just don't, you know. Some people are so lost during this period because they live off of other people. You know, other people's energy, other people's ideas, other people's directions. You know, that's how they live. So for some people, I understand that it could be as a counselor, as a former counselor, I understand the, that it could be emotionally draining for people who aren't used to being um, less social, you know, or social distancing and finding that even the telephone isn't enough or even a video isn't enough and a text isn't enough. And, you know, all of those things or a picture, it's not enough. You know, it's not enough. But I, but I, I applaud you if you're getting through it, you know, just keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing it towards your way. And you may end up on the other side of pandemic of being so uh, self-reliable, self-reliant, just because you said, I can do this. I'm going to do it my way. Yeah. I, you know, I had some things placed on me that I wasn't sure about, but I made it through. I certainly commend myself for that. Number two, what is your wand? What are you wandering through right now? What are you wandering through right now? And do you know the way you're going? What are you wandering through? And do the know, you know the way you're going? Question number three. Has your adventure to date, doing things your way now, been satisfying? Are you satisfied in the direction your life is taking? In the way you're doing it, are you satisfied? Sometimes we can't even say we are because we've never... We've never, what I say, intrinsically look at ourselves. We don't. We look away. We look to others. So I'm just asking you the question. Are you, can, can you talk about the adventure you have to date and where it's been for you? And the last question, who are you? You know, when we speak of yourself, you're speaking of yourself. Who are you? Identify. I hope you have a piece of paper and and a pen, and you write this down. I hope you have a, a journal. And if you were journaling this for the last, I started April 4th. From April 4th to now, I have done, I think this would be my 50, 
maybe 58th um, video. In 58 of the videos, I am asking questions in every single video. I'm not just sharing, you know, because I realize if I'm talking, you, you know, you can only respond through the thread. However, however, if you're doing what I'm asking you to do, you should have some good stuff down on paper about who you are, what it's all about, what you've been doing, where you're at, how excited you are, how how connected you are, how how much of a stand you, you, you're taking, uh, how wise you are, how joyful you are. I mean, all these things, these subjects I've covered, I was looking at them yesterday, and there's been a lot. There's been a lot. And, uh, and the feedback has been good. So I'm just going to keep going um, as long as, as the man upstairs tells me this is a portion of one of the things he's called me to do, I'm going to do it. And it says, um, the last thing I'm going to ask you, the question I asked you on the first time, are you in your own way? You being the, the, the particular person, the clause, are you in your own way? And sometimes we are. You know, when we're honest, we just say, yeah, you know, I am, I am, I am. Um, for those who, who know me, um, I, I have a big milestone coming up. Probably around the 15th of uh, July, the um, Al's Ten Fingers, colon, he used them to play music, will be up on Amazon. So this is a first time for me publishing a book. And it is about a local musician who realized that as a child, he had it in him that that's all he wanted to do. And he did it starting at, you know, eight years old. So you think about your children. If you have children or grandchildren, the importance of music is absolutely vital. It says if a child not only hears music, but also added to that plays music, they are more apt to be you know, it says that neuro, it's, it's neurologically prepared for whatever is coming up the road, you know. Uh, it's, it's actually neurophysiological prepared to, do, to deal with whatever's coming up the road. It actually enhances other areas of learning. Math is one of them, you know. Uh, it, it just looks at how it connects so many things in the brain to help them learn. So I am really excited about this book. I have worked on his adult book, which is which will be coming out in late fall, called uh, Talent Over Adversity. Because sometimes people are faced with a lot of stuff, but they still stay in their way. They still go, remain going forward, looking at what they need to do and making it extremely important to um, stay on the path you know, to stay on the path. And it's taken me a while because I was writing the adult book and all of a sudden I woke up one morning and it was given to me that you will write a children's book and that will come out first. So um, I hope you will certainly support us and purchase the book. Um, once again, the name of the book is Al's Ten Fingers. He used them to play music. Um, I think it's going to be good for the area also good to acknowledge one of Pensacola's own. He's probably trained just thousands and thousands of people in the area over the years of how to play piano and some organ. Uh, so just support the effort. And I'm, I'm, I'm so happy that you dropped in today. I appreciate that. Uh, hi, Ashley. Um, I'm going to certainly um, tell you to have a wonderful Wednesday. Uh, get out of your own way, but plan a way to go forward. Do that. Like Ashley is a, is a wonderful painter and, um, she found that calling and has certainly addressed it and, and now has her business, uh, unique. Uh, it's just wonderful. So find something that, that, that really drives you forward and gives you a way out of something you never even could conjure up before try it. You may find out that not only is it your calling, but it's your blessing. You have a wonderful, wonderful day. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. Please share this video, please. And go to my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel has all the videos on it from when I started on April 4th, 
all the way through and I'll put this one on later on today. You have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hi.